channel you know your favorite duo <laughs> we are here again Yo. okay so welcome back to our channel mm -hmm. thank you so much for the love and for always coming back mm -hmm. and for supporting and mm -hmm. always commenting liking mm -hmm. and subscribing mm -hmm. if you're not in this category start <laughs> liking subscribing you need to join turning on notification sharing you know commenting just start because we give you knowledge tips in the midst of vibes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> knowledge tips and in the midst of vibes. There's nothing better than that. Imagine combo. You're learning, but you're also <laughs> but you're also vibing at the same time. You know? So, anyways, welcome back. And today we'll be telling you guys about our different experiences when we apply for our German visa. Student visa. Yeah, German student, German visa. student visa. So yeah. our different interview experience. visa interview experiences. So <clears throat> on that. get your zumbo, <laughs> your wine, your, your popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> Sit back. Oh my god, you're talking in sync. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. relax because this gist is about to be lit. Maybe lit, maybe not lit. Just sit down and watch it. Make sure it's lit for you. Because here yeah, we're talking, you're, okay, see for instance, we are two Nigerian ladies, right? She came from Nigeria, I came from China. So the perspective is like different. Yeah, so that's why you need to sit down and listen to this. <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing that with my eyes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Guys, so of course we applied from two different countries. Yeah. And at least from what I've heard so far, there's usually like some differences, despite the fact that it's the same country we're trying to get into. Mm -hmm. There are different patterns in these different countries. So today we'll be telling you about a different experience. So you want to go first or no 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 let's go first. Let's start from home. Nigeria start from home. <laughs> Nigeria I came experience. from home. Okay. So um pretty much um I'm sure by now you must have already seen how to apply for a student visa from mm -hmm. her um page if you have one so we're going to put the link below so you yeah, should go check, check that one out so mm -hmm. there's no need to go for that to start telling you all the things that you need yes here i'm, I'm just telling you it somewhere mm -hmm. you know, above and you can always check. exactly so here i'm just going to tell you how it was for us so for me my interview um day was my interview time was quite early one morning it was mm -hmm. it was actually in january january 2018 mm -hmm. no oh jesus christ january 2019 <laughs> not 18 january 2019 so um i went there with all of the documents that were required mm -hmm. the korea bag i don't know did you guys need korea bag mm -hmm. so in nigeria to apply you need to when you're going with your to yeah. apply for your visa you have to have gone to a career office ups dhl whatever mm -hmm. and you pay for a career bag you should have your house address or where you want them to send your passport to as the delivery address then the mm -hmm. sender's address should be the german embassy address so mm -hmm. it's more like you are paying the, for them to send your documents out because you wouldn't go there to take your document they will send it back to you so oh, okay. that, that really career different. bag is very important you need to go with it and make sure you address it properly because i know somebody will put wrong address but let's not go into that gist. <laughs> let's not go into that gist. but that address is very important the german embassy address will be the sender the receiver should be your address or whatever house um whatever location you want them to deliver your documents yeah. to because you're sending your original you're giving them your original and photocopy so they'll have to send your original mm -hmm. document back okay. anyway so i went with all of all these things mm -hmm. if you guys know there's this guy in front of that German embassy gate. Everybody has a bad thing to say about him. He's like the chief of security or whatever. I don't know. But that guy is like, you know, devil's advocate that just came <laughs> to try to make people not to have it. That guy is terrible. Terrible. <laughs> so when I got to the oh gate, God. it was like my turn. And I had arranged my document because I had already had like, the gist and everything i did my research like if you guys know you know that me i'm always all about research being so i had done my research i had arranged my documents accordingly mm -hmm. and then i went there and this guy like so you know like i was trying to form smart girl so when he says bring out your passport i bring it out 
sharp sharp with the with the um, what's it called with the photocopy he's like guy i know what i'm doing <laughs> and then he's like no i said only the original <laughs> i'm like oh, no problem so i brought the original out yeah, and then he made me arrange it in like originals one part the first copy. um photocopy second photocopy another part which was not the typical arrangement <laughs> from what i read so he would tell you what documents to bring out you bring out you bring out the photocopies and you kept keep on the chair do the same to the next set next set next set if you go and bring even if it was one document that was remaining he has not told you to bring out that document you bring it out he can send you home <laughs> because that guy that guy was terrible so you just anything he says just do it so, is he a nigerian guy yes he's a nigerian guy so pretty much that was it i I dropped the, the I arranged the documents the way he wanted me to arrange them and then he let me go in like he gave me the documents okay it's arranged and then I go in so I went in you drop your phone whatever at the gate of course you're allowed to come with only a very small bag because the bag has to fit into the locker so you, mm -hmm. if you like if you're traveling from somewhere I don't know where you keep your luggage <laughs> you or your huge bag but you can't take it there to the embassy because they, they won't even let you in so i went there with like the file mm -hmm. where my documents and a very tiny bag so i put my bag and my phones and everything they would tag it and then you go in so for me the person that interviewed me was a nigerian and she wasn't like inside the main building it was like still at that gate area there was there's one office there so i got in and then the lady in front of me uh was applying for a family re reunion her husband was already in germany so pretty much they were asking her like some things to say in Germ german like the alphabet the phone mm -hmm. number um, not the numbers mm -hmm. and she was like reciting them in german and whatnot and i was just sitting down there and her kid was actually like disturbing this baby was just you know trying to jump mm -hmm. around maybe like whatnot. kids typical kids right so me the lover of children that i am the, the mother ex <laughs> so i actually volunteered to carry her kid and i carried the girl we played a little bit while the mom was like answering all of these questions i think they're asking her like they're asking some questions like oh how did you guys meet how long have you been dating when did, where did you guys do your wedding Typical all of all these questions kind of yeah so she was just answering and answering and answering i was just carrying the baby and we're playing while the lady that was interviewing her the visa officer was actually kind of looking at me and the child and then i was like playing with the child in my element like you know i'm a natural with this thing when it comes to children i'm a natural and Sorry, this girl you know? slept off in my arms which was actually so cute mm -hmm. and she slept off and it was just like everybody's like oh, oh you're not gonna think and the lady finished her interview and she turned to carry her child and she's like oh my god she slept because this whole time she didn't even know she, her head was there. She has to go and meet her baby in Germany. She's not seeing what's going on. So she's like, oh my God, this man, thank you so much. And everything. And she carried the baby and she left. So it was now my turn. Now, the thing is, for it, they always take cash. Like mm -hmm. the visa fee has to be cash. And they will tell you to come with change. Yeah. I didn't have change. So I was now trying to ask like the security. This was before I entered this. I tried to ask the um, security officers outside for change but then they were like oh they can't give me because they're not like the cctv is like everywhere they can't be seen collecting or giving me money they'll basically just conclude that it was bribe so nobody wanted to give me change so i entered this side i just thinking these people now take one thousand and not give me change i give you my money <laughs> so i got it and then the lady when it was like, like my turn the lady said okay give me your documents i give her my document and she's like okay give me your uh, visa fee and then I, I kind of gave her, I was just like, but ma, I, I don't have change. <laughs> I'm like, please ma, give me back my change. <laughs> like, I don't have change. And she says like, uh, okay, that I really need to give, like, I need to give her change because they can't give me any change and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I tried to explain that. I was trying to ask, ask the security officers outside, but mm -hmm. everyone is scared like that. They would be accused of bribery, or receiving bribe and whatnot. So they didn't give me. And then there was like this man and his son who wanted to apply for a Schengen visa, tourist visa. So she was like, oh, you can ask the people behind. So I turned to them and I asked. Luckily for me, they had changed and then they gave me. Mm. But so then I, they, yeah, like, mm -hmm. can I ask, mm -hmm. how much was it for the visa application? It was, um, was it 31,050 Naira? 
or okay. 5,050 naira. It was okay. 30 something Sorry, thousand, and there was like this was small change, like, like if you snare, look at that, you fifty or something. Mm -hmm. But there was just some small money, I think. Mm -hmm. At that time, it, if you check the exchange rate, it was actually 75 euros. So, yeah, if you check, euros. check, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I like now, of course, it's way higher than what 30 something, but then it was 30 something thousand naira and had like small change. So, that's why I needed the change. So, um, I gave her my document. So, she first of all asked me, like, so what's the name of the school you're going to? I told her, um, uh, what program are you going to study? I told her. She said, um, what school did you study? I mean, she had this thing. She just wanted to confirm if I knew them. So these were the questions she was asking me. She's like, okay, so what school did you study in Nigeria? Like University of Port Harcourt. Mm -hmm. She then said, okay. So she said, um, so, no, she then goes, um, what city is your school? I'm like, Berlin. She says, okay, um, how long is your program? 18 months. Okay. And she goes, very tell me detailed. tell me something you know about germany hmm. and guy i'd i'd read like i was going to drive i had read but it was like the reading it will fly it. <laughs> <laughs> it will fly over my brain in the moment i was just like okay um the capital of germany is berlin um Germ germany is known for their love for potato <laughs> They are known for their love for potatoes. They have them. How many states? I can't tell. I've actually forgotten now, but that time, guys, I read. I knew how many states. I knew all the states and capitals. I was like, they have uh, how many states and how many capitals? Um, they have, I think, two main political parties. <laughs> she now says, okay. Like, it went really, mm. really have to kind of She then said, now. so, okay, about the political parties. Um, she mm. then, no, she then asked me, um, what's the um the name of the mayor of berlin i think i remembered his name but i didn't remember his she didn't ask me what is his party and i was like <laughs> <laughs> guys bim, bim, bim. Yeah. i don't remember and i had read these things the funny thing is i had read this so i knew that they could ask me this question but the thing is maybe for now i think hmm. i've realized that somehow i'm beginning to pick interest in politics I, I used to be terrible. Don't ask me anything about this. I hate it. I don't know anything about it. I don't want to know. So when you start asking me things related to political it's parties, easy to forget. you have killed me. <laughs> so I was just like, um, I can't really remember. She's like, so is that all you know about Germany? That's all? No, 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 my sister, I'm giving you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been here before. And the person I'm interviewed giving you, you a lot. Hmm. The person that interviewed you, like was mm -hmm. she in Nigeria? She was a well? Nigerian lady. Oh, okay. so she's like, is that all you know about Germany? I'm just like, um, kind of, yeah. And she's like, have you been to Germany before? I'm like, no. She's like, have you been to any European country? I said, no. Yeah, I, had, yeah, I said, no. And she's like, have you been rejected a visa before? I'm like, no. <laughs> Hello? No. Nobody try. Don't try it. I was like, no. And she's like, okay. Um, she then asked me, I think, about my fees because I had like the the fee confirmation to show that i had paid fees because my program i paid fees so i had that one to show and she's like um okay so um where is your blocked accounts uh, confirmation i gave her mm -hmm. for the blocked accounts and she's like okay where is your motivation letter i looked I gave her the material. I'm not even sure she read that thing. She just looked at. Of course, I don't think that they weren't giving. And then, like, says, right? yeah, They're just the interview so and the... She then looked at me and she just like, um, okay, no problem. Um, she then printed out something like this was supposed to be a slip. I would use to come get my your passport um, to come get my passport. Yeah, because right. Was it to come get my passport? I don't even no, know what I'm saying. I didn't do my no, there was a slip so to confirm. No, it was to confirm payment. Like, so they had like how much I had paid, the visa I was applying for, something like that. That was what was on that mm. slip. So that slip, she gave me that slip and she kind of took a, she scanned my passport and gave me back my passport. Because German, German embassies don't hold your passport. So she gave me back the passport and the They slip. don't hold your passport? Yeah, in Nigeria, they don't hold your passport. They held mine. But continue <laughs> <laughs> you don't hold your passport in nigeria so she gave me back the passport and the sleep and like i gave her the career back and everything and she's like okay so um the visa usually takes um four to six weeks yeah she said four to six weeks so um we would send you 
an email. That was all she said. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Is that <laughs> and I said to her, okay, we'll give you this visa. Don't be telling me in 46, what in 46 you're telling me?